and we're nearly there just two more phases now, now let's do phase 11 phase 11 is a fun one because we have to define the load balancer and there is a lot of things to define or a lot of new things to define okay let's go back and i'm going to create a new file so which i'm going to call fabio so fabio.nomad let's open this and again let's start with the job so job's going to be fabio data centers i want this to be in dc1 now there is now there is something different here before we have before we had service as the type because I just wanna, I, I wanted to control how many, how many copies of my front end was running. But right now, what I want to do with Fabio, I want to run Fabio in every single uh, client in the node or in the cluster. And to do that, we need a type system. So if I specify type system, and this is like, um, um, I'm trying to remember the name for Kubernetes. I think it's Daemon. I don't remember honestly. Uh, Daemon. Daemon set, I think. I think it's daemon set. That's where you deploy everywhere in the cluster. So for Nomad type system, the group is going to be Fabio. And and here you see that here I didn't find any count because by default it's uh, just one. Or actually in this case, sorry, it's not just one. I mean, it's type system, right? So it's going to deploy everywhere. So that's why I'm not specifying count. So task Fabio. The driver, it's gonna be Docker. So for uh, per the challenge, the challenge asks us to use Docker for, for Fabio. You could run Fabio as a binary if you wanted, but here we're just gonna run as Docker. And config. For the config, I'm gonna specify the image, which is gonna be Fabio LB slash Fabio. Now there's a tricky thing here. Let me pull up the requirements. Yeah, so I just wanted to read uh, this together with you. So usually Docker containers run in a network mode called bridge. And in the bridge mode, what, what happens is that the containers they run on a diff different network stack uh, as, than the host. Yeah, so and because Fabio needs to be able to communicate with console, uh, which, is run, it, which is a process running on a host, not as a Docker container, you should configure Fabio to run in a network mode called host instead. Yeah. And by doing that, that means that Fabio is going to run the container or nobody is going to run a Fabio container in the same network as the host. And just be careful that you should not configure the network mode in the network stanza. You should configure the Docker driver to use the, uh, the network mode host. So going back to our, our code, Inside our, inside our config, we would have network mode underscore mode, and that would be host. So this is how I tell Docker that I want Fabio to run in the same network stack as, as the host. Now for the resources, uh, so for the resources, what I need to do here is pretty the challenge, I need to specify, let's go back and take a look at it. So Nomad should allocate 200 uh, megahertz of CPU and 128 meg megabytes of memory to this task. So that's that can be easily done. So in the resources, what I need to do is CPU. So I define CPU is 200. So that's the uh, the megahertz. And then for memory, I just call memory and specify 128. Now, next thing is the network. We need to configure the network. So going back, we, we, uh, so it says here that the task should require 20 megabits of bandwidth. And to do that, there is a property called mbits. And you notice one thing, if, if, you go, if you go to the challenge, if you take a look at this link here, this link is gonna take you to the, to the JSON API for, for Nomad. And the, the properties for the JSON API is a little bit different. So you see that everything is uppercase or at least camel case, or like starting with uppercase letters. And like, for example, his CPU is all uppercase, memory instead of just memory is memory MB. Yeah. And 
and just the reason why we did this is because the M bits, which is what we're looking for, it was not available in the documentation for the network, which is uh, which is a shame because you know it, that confused a lot of people. But I hopefully Nomad is gonna or Nomad team is gonna is gonna fix this and they're gonna add M bits to to their documentation. But that was the reason why I added this link specifically. But if you're doing the challenge, just just be, be um, just be careful that. The property is actually different, so it's not all uppercase CPU. It's not memory MB. It's what uh what I was showing here. So in this case, it should be uh, it should be uh, CPU lowercase memory and then M bits lowercase. So for M bits, we we need 20 megabits. So I just specified 20 here. Now we need two things. We need to allocate uh, two ports to Fabio. Yeah. So we need ports 9999 for the load balancer itself. And we need a port 9998 for the user interface for Fabio. Yeah, so there is a user interface with, for Fabio where we can see all of the containers running. And so to define these two, uh, these two ports, so I'm gonna do port LB. And for this, I'm gonna specify static because I know that there's only gonna be one Fabio process per, per client. So I'm gonna do a static. And that was the, the load balancer. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the UI. And for the UI, I'm gonna allocate a static port of 9998. So I'm basically, I'm gonna be allocating two ports for this process. Okay, I think I covered everything. Now when you're done, run the job. So let's do a plan and run and see what happens. So Nomad plan. Fabio.nomad looks great. So nomad run Fabio.nomad. Let's give it a couple of seconds. If I do status, okay. So we should be should be seeing Fabio running. And if I go to to the instance and I do net stat. Wrap 9999. Oh, that was that's inside the container. I need to come out of it. Okay, so we can see that there is a process listening on that port, and the same thing should be true for 9998. There is also something listening on there. Great. Okay, so another yeah, there is a tip here that I that I put. So sometimes you know things will fail with uh, with Fabio, and you want to be able to see the logs. So first thing we need to do, let's see if we can do this right now very quickly. Going back to the client, I'm gonna do Nomad. Nomad status Fabio again. And at the very bottom, you're gonna see an allocation ID. And then if I do Nomad lock logs and I paste this you won't be able to see anything and the reason why this is happening is because Fabio by default he sends logs to the standard error not to the, to the standard output and this is this is looking for the standard output if you want to take a look at the standard error you would have to add a flag s t d e e or e r r and that should return all of the logs for Fabio and you can even see here that uh, it added a route for, for the front end at the slash. Yeah, so it, and here you can see all of the five containers. So that looks like our containers are already behind Fabio. And if we access Fabio, Fabio's IP address on slash, we should be able to reach out to our front end. And I believe that's exactly what the definition of done is. So first thing, we need to do a curl efconfig.co and a client so we can get the IP address. So I'm gonna do curl efconfig.co. This is the IP address for my for my client. If I copy this and paste here. Oops, forgot the port. It should be 9999. Otherwise it's not gonna work. loading take a little bit of time but there you go that's our front end 
and our front end is running behind Fabio uh, at slash, okay? And one more test that we need to do for phase 11 is to take a look at port 9998 and make sure that we can see Fabio's interface. So that takes us to the routes. Wait a second, it's still loading. And we can see all the five front end containers running. And this is very interesting because you can see the destination. So this is the, the IP address inside the, um, inside the client, as well as the port and how the traffic is being distributed. So we, we see 20% going to this one, 20% to this. So it's just, you know, getting all the traffic and pretty much, you know, dividing by five and uh, splitting out across this five, five containers.